Hey there, Rebus Forever here. Today I'm going to be opening and comparing the Elgato Pro HD to XSplit with Total War. I've experienced in some of my videos some choppy gameplay depending on settings and sometimes have to jump down quite a lot with the graphics to record smoothly. I would prefer to be able to get consistent gameplay uh, that reflects the power of my computer without having to compromise and turn stuff down just to get some smooth recording. That said, the recordings generally look smooth my end, it's just in the software, so there will be some comparisons. Anyway, I'm going to be opening it with a penknife from a magazine about aeroplanes that was released a million years ago. I think you had to send stuff away, I don't think they just gave you a penknife in the magazine, because that would have been bad even for the past. At the point of recording this, I have absolutely no idea whether or not this card helps. I assume it will, based on all of my research. Let's have a look at what you get in the box. The box comes with a low profile bracket. The card itself, if I can get it out. Come on. A Wii sticker, if uh, that's the sort of thing you're into. One cable, and uh, Quite the booklet of information. I wonder how many languages that also covers. The answer is some. Next step from here is installing. Is worth noting if you want to use this product to record PC gameplay, you're going to need two HDMI cables. But that's why I got two HDMI cables or one extra one anyway. You're also going to need a monitor with a HDMI socket and a graphics card with a HDMI socket. It may work with adapters, but I haven't tried, so I can't comment. First of all, we're going to need to take the side of the case off, taking care to unplug any case fans if you have any connected on the side. Put that to one side. Next up, pick a PCI slot for the card. Make sure it fits and it's not impeded anywhere. Should fit in pretty much any. Then make sure that you're going to unscrew the right PCIe uh, guard. There's a correct term for that, but I can't remember. Then insert the card. And screw it back in. You should probably make sure you've got a spare PCIe slot before you buy the card, because otherwise you're going to have a bad time. Then we connect one HDMI cable from your graphics card to the Elgato capture card using the in slot. Then you need to connect the Elgato card to your monitor of choice that you intend to game on, being aware that the Elgato card will not capture anything over than 1080. So if you've got a 2K screen that could be wasted. These are the settings I used for both benchmarks of the Total War game. I used the highest settings I know how to make in XSplit, and the same in the Elgato software. This is a best case scenario with the game windowed, XSplit prefers that. This is capturing a desktop area as opposed to game capture, or with a Total War full screen. I think the XSplit is oversaturated. I think it's a little bit jumpier. And I feel that details are probably easier to pick out on the Elgato HD60. Whether or not that remains the case after I've uploaded it to YouTube, um, I won't know until later. As you can see, the Elgato seems to have less of an impact on system performance and therefore higher frames. Here's a couple of stills, uh, screenshots to make it easier to compare, if that's your thing, just pause. Now it's worth noting the Elgato is limited to 1080, XSplit can go to resolutions that you set, the Elgato costs around 150, 160 pounds, XSplit is free, unless you wish to start using its more advanced features and then you're going to start paying. Overall though, with the fact that I tend to record in 1080 because of storage constraints, I think I'll stick with the HD60 over XSplit. I'm going to keep XSplit around, but I won't be giving them any more money. So yeah, the HD60 Pro. If you've got the desire to capture game footage from your PC or various consoles with a HDMI, it might be the device for you. 
Thanks for watching. And if I got anything glaringly wrong, uh, feel free to inform me and the rest of the world in the comments. This is one of my first bashes at a technology video for quite some time. Constructive criticism and uh, pointing out anything I got wrong will be really appreciated. And yeah, that is uh, Tim Foyle in the background. I misremembered a photography guide, and now I've made it look like I'm a David Icke fan.